So this frame really locked in. John Higgins, as I said, having won the first of the evening, eight. Ken Doherty, nine. The winner will play Elaine Robidoux. And as you've just seen, it's the same score on the other side with Parrott pulling one back against uh, James Wattener. He's eight, Wattener nine. The winner plays Stephen Hendry. The rest of the action, the results, and the full semi final lineup of this year's Embassy Championship of the World in Sports Night on BBC One. of the great balloon race. Take me with you! Maybe gone sometime. Their mission to orbit the world. I've just entered Libyan airspace. He does this for fun. To break new records. Ground speed 65 knots. Hot damn. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Beam up to Horizon tomorrow, 9 o'clock on BBC Two. A breakthrough in understanding on BBC One now. Tomorrow's World tests out the pen which can read one language and translate it into another. Here on BBC Two, in half an hour, Manchester and Glamorgan rise to the University Challenge in the second quarter-final. One series exposes the true extent of racial bullying in our schools. He had actually been bullied so badly he would take his own life. One series seeks to discover who killed Aung San. When we lost him, we lost our chance to build up a happy, democratic Burma. One series reveals the threat of renewed violence in Bradford. This is a, a community which has been stressed out. It's exploded and many innocent people have suffered. One series investigates the stories that matter from west to east. The tiger is still threatened with extinction. In India, its last stronghold. East returns tomorrow at 7.30 on BBC Two. Now on BBC Two, this week's Black Britain with Rihanna Scipio. On Black Britain tonight. The black churches are a potential gold mine. But is the money being used for the glory of God or the betterment of man? He used the church for his own ends. He wanted everything but to pay for nothing. The only thing he worshipped was money. We ask whatever happened to faith, hope and charity. A community mourn a young man. He died in a London police cell. When someone dies in custody, where do you start looking for answers? I'm a novice at the end of the day. So now I don't have time to grieve because I'm having to find out how the game is played. And meet the Antiguan government's new weapon for tackling fraud and tax evasion. I don't think any tax collectors get uh, welcomed anywhere, but uh, I've had a particularly rough ride here in the first few months. Good evening and welcome to Black Britain. If you're a churchgoer,